The Mott Creek Shelter Intervention by the International Organization for Migration. I took a visit to Goza and Yola Town to have a glimpse of the intervention made by IOM. On arrival, I met returnees of the 13-year conflict resettling in their new places of abode. Basic communities were also provided, but returnees say this is a dream come true. Boko Haram when Boko Haram invaded our village in Goza nine years ago, we relocated in search for safety. We then came to Malkoi and have been living in camp. But today, our cry is over with this shelter provided to us by IOM. Fadi Abba prepares the first meal for her family in their new abode. We've been living in a makeshift shelters with no privacy and no happiness. Today, I have a personal home. We never imagined having this, but it was made possible by IOM. Government on its part believes that this move by IOM is a milestone to its people. The houses built will compress earthquakes made locally with no doubt go a long way in addressing the harsh weather condition of the state during the hot season. The, the project sought to prioritize the most vulnerable individuals, and among them are female added households, persons with disabilities or chronic illness, pregnant and lactating mothers, and elderly individuals. They are coming from different places in Goza, Bama, Dikwa, Monguno local government areas in Borno State. They had fled to safety in Adama, Adamawa State and they settled here. With this step in by IOM, the returnees now have a sigh of relief as they can now turn a new leaf and start afresh. Jesse Tafida, TVC News, Yola.